In this video, we will determine the principles involved to use the cone method to find the true inclination of an oblique plane to the horizontal plane. Here in this example, we have a step-by-step -step construction of the process of the cone method. We will have a look at the principles involved to create this. So what we're actually looking for, here we have the vertical plane, the horizontal plane, and an oblique plane we want to find the angle x which is the inclined plane with the horizontal plane first we need to look at the basic cone principles to understand part of the method to find this inclined angle x here we have a cone and if you draw a line anywhere from the apex to the base of the cone on the surface of the cone this is called the generator and the principle is all the generators to a cone have the same angle x to the base of the cone I'll demonstrate that now So if I draw a line anywhere from the apex to the base of the cone, this will generate a generator line. And the angle formed angle formed is x. To look at this in a plan and elevation view, the cone and plan is seen as a circle and if we're looking for the elevation we see the generator line along the surface we see the angle formed from the we see the angle formed from the generator this line here to the base of the cone is x going back to the principle that all the generators to the cone have the same angle x to the base of the cone to look at this further, if we took a generator from the apex to any point on the cone and look at this in elevation, we should find that it has the angle x. So this would be looking in this direction at this generator we see an angle formed from the base the cone the apex the generator this angle is x This is the first basic um, principle towards finding um, the oblique um, cone method. The second principle we need to know 
is the tangent principle. A tangent is a plane or a line that touches a curve at a single point. Here we can see an example of a circle and a tangent to a circle. The rule is the angle between the radius of a circle and the tangent at the point of contact is always 90 degrees. So a circle with a tangent to it that hits at one point, the point of contact, to the radius is perpendicular, which is 90 degrees. It's always the rule. If we look at a tangent in the sense of a plane, a tangent plane, which we could see in, in um, elevation and the plan of a cone. In the elevation, we see the tangent plane as a line that sits on the edge surface or the generator. of a cone. In plan we can see the surface in blue. This sur surface touches at 90 degrees perpendicular from the radius. In yellow we see the plan of the cone. Taking this principle with the principle of the basic cone we can see that any plane which forms as a generator on elevation, we can find that the angle from the base to the plane will always be x and will always be the same whichever direction or way we look at it in elevation. So I haven't looked at these two principles and keeping them in mind these both principles can be used to find the true inclination of an oblique plane which is the angle formed x here here we see how we can incorporate the two principles of the cone and the plane tangent the oblique plane forms a tangent to the cone We now know this tangent forms a generator, which is this line. And this holds the true inclination angle x. of the oblique plane because it is at the same angle as is the tangent to the plane. From the cone principle we know that this angle is the same at any other generator line around the cone. For instance if we draw a generator line here from the apex to the base the angle formed is also x. So now with all these principles we can go back to the question and this will give us an understanding of the steps of construction that is laid out in the question. So we can see a cone formed, which here is a half cone. We see the lambda angle here formed at right angles. And the generator, this line. So the, so the oblique plane is a tangent to the cone. When we draw this in elevation, it looks like this. This is the half cone. We know that the TH 
which is the horizontal trace of, of the oblique plane, should be at 90 degrees. It's the tangent. We know the angle formed here. If we look at that generator at any point along to the base of the apex, will form the same angle. So we can see that this angle here, if we show it in elevation, will give us x, x in the last question or lambda here. This is the principles involved in the construction of this cone method to find the true inclination of an oblique plane to the horizontal plane.